Now, what you might expect with this is, you know, a dip back to this zone. So we, we did kind of a moonshot, a little a mini moonshot just now, and they may unwind that, come back down. Um, but there's a lot of potential. So if this is trading at roughly $5 a unit, if you can buy the next dip and make money, you have a shot at seven or eight. Okay. That's, that, that's how yeah. I would say that, right? So once, yeah. once this becomes an object in motion, uh, just based on how this sort of goes from, say, over here, see how it, it goes up and then it'll sit and then it goes up and it'll sit and then go up again. And if it kind of goes up and you have like a little mini two or three day or one or two day correction, it could go again, right? In other words, when I'm looking at alts, in other words, that I know everyone wants to buy the alt, have it go up 10X and get out. But a lot of times when you're going to make money, you want the alt to sit for a while or consolidate, build up steam. Because this is what Chainlink did, right? When DeFi fell out of bed, one of the first things we said was that Chainlink didn't go down that much, even though there was kind of a FUD report out about it, right? Yeah. So if things dip, but don't fall apart, that can be a sign that you know, there could be a next wave up. Yeah, because I was told that rumors are that Zeus Capital, the person who, or the, the firm that put out that chain link FUD report, that this short got liquidated <laughs> because somebody did get liquidated for a large amount of money causing that chain link pump. So, all right, thank you, Bill. <laughs>